Hello everyone, this is Dr. Clark from the Center for Weight Loss Success and on this episode of Weight Loss Surgery Success, I'm going to give you the core of what your eating plan should be as well as kind of the simplified version of weight loss. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Welcome back everyone, this is Dr. Clark from the Center for Weight Loss Success. And again, as I mentioned earlier, we're going to talk about the kind of the core of the eating plan. Actually, I'm going to go over three concepts. What the core of your eating plan should be, we'll go over what I call the low carb diet simplified, and then we'll talk a little bit about a concept which I refer to as a carbohydrate tipping point three things that are very important, but this is kind of the simplified version of how to lose weight, control weight. All right, now people often ask me kind of, what should I eat? What do I need to eat when I'm trying to lose weight? And I can oversimplify this. And it is an oversimplification, but I want you to realize this works really well. And it's what I call the core of the eating plan. The core of the eating plan are only three things. That's all you need to remember. The core of the eating plan. Three things. First one is hydration. We cannot survive without water. Okay? You can't survive more than a couple days without water. And water is the absolute best thing to drink. All right, so hydration. Number two, good protein sources. We can't survive without protein. Now when I say good protein sources, the best protein sources from food, meat, seafood, cheese and egg. Those are basically very high protein foods, almost zero carbohydrate, and okay, they can really get you kind of going where you need to go there. So, number one, hydration. Number two, good protein sources. Number three is colorful vegetable salad stuff. Now that's kind of a broad category there, but basically if what you're eating falls into that category, colorful vegetable salad stuff, it's going to be low carbohydrate, nutrient dense foods. Okay? So that's all you need to eat. There's the core, hydration, good protein sources, colorful vegetable salad stuff. Eat that. If it falls outside the core, don't eat it. All right, now that's the simplification of what to eat. Now the flip side of that, or what I'll call the other end of the spectrum, is what shouldn't you eat? Meaning, what should you avoid? All right, so I can also oversimplify that. Again, it's an oversimplification, but it works. All right, it's three things. Three things you need to avoid. The starchy things, the crumbly carbohydrates, and watch the fruit. Okay, what do I mean by this? Okay, this is Dr. Clark's Low Carb Diet Simplified. Okay, the Low Carb Diet Simplified, you avoid starches. Now, the major starches are potato, rice, pasta, and bread. So, avoid those. Number two was the crumbly carbohydrates. The crumbly carbohydrates are what I call the six C's. Chips, cookies, crackers, cereal, cake, candy. There you have it, six seeds. So avoid the starches, the crumbly carbohydrates, and then finally, number three is watch the fruit. Now, the reason I say that is because fruit has a lot of sugar in it. Okay? What we have to wrap our head around, to wrap our minds around, is that eating healthy does not correlate with weight loss. They're two different things. Eating healthy, we often say, okay, eating lots of, you know, high fiber foods, um, kind of lots of fruits, nutrient dense, and they are, they are healthy. But eating healthy and losing weight are two different things because nutrient dense foods, some of those nutrient dense foods, the high fiber types of foods, whole grain type of foods, the fruits, a lot of sugar in them and subsequently they're gonna make insulin levels go up. All right, so that's the other extreme. What you should eat, again, yeah. Hydration, good protein sources, and colorful vegetable salad stuff. What do you avoid? The starches, crumbly carbohydrates, and watch the fruit. 
that's the simplified version of the eating plan. Now, finally, I want to get into a little bit of what I refer to as the carbohydrate tipping point. Everyone has one. What I mean by that, at a certain level of carbohydrate intake, it's going to make your insulin levels come up. When insulin levels go up, our body's told to store fat. Now the question there is, where is your carbohydrate intake? Where is that tipping point? Okay. Now for some people, the, the tipping point's way up here. And basically they can eat pretty much whatever they want to and never gain a pound. We all know people like that. They need anything they want to, never gain a pound, and it's not fair. And it's not that they have a different physiology. They don't. They have a more efficient physiology. When they eat carbohydrate, they may still get blood sugar swing, but it only makes their insulin levels go up a tiny amount. If you only have small amounts of insulin, okay, then you won't store fat. Insulin is what turns on fat storage. Literally, we cannot store fat without insulin. And that's one of the, I'm going to digress here for just a second, in that one of the diagnostic, if you want to say, you know, symptoms that people have for type 1 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is where someone doesn't make any insulin. They make no insulin. And yes, there's a lot of problems. Their blood sugars are really high. But one of the first signs of that is they're losing weight like crazy. Because they can be they can be eating like crazy, but they're losing weight like crazy because they physically cannot store fat if you don't have insulin. So, okay, and when our insulin levels go up, insulin is one of those hormones that we can't live without, but you want to live with the absolute smallest number possible because insulin does a lot of things we wish it didn't do. The major thing from a weight perspective is that it makes us store fat. It turns out lipoprotein lipase makes us store fat. All right, so we want to keep insulin levels as low as possible. So getting back to one of some people's tipping points way up here. Many people's tipping point is way down low. And with our surgical patients, it's really low. Okay, with many of our medical patients that are for weight loss, it can be in that 50, 60, 70 gram range. So typically what I encourage people to do is try to work on finding their tipping point. For many of our surgical patients, that tipping point is sometimes as low as about 50 grams a day. So when they're trying to lose weight, I encourage them, keep your carbohydrate less than 50 grams a day. Now, over time, you can actually let that drift up a little bit, but there will be a tipping point. At a certain level of carbohydrate intake, it's going to make your insulin levels drift up. When insulin levels drift up, you'll start struggling. You'll get more cravings, you'll get more hunger, and you're going to want more carbohydrate that actually is going to, going to make the insulin levels go higher. And it'll snowball. And insulin, this has nothing to do with how many calories you're eating. This has to do with what is your body doing with what you're eating. It's typically not a volume thing. This is a hormonal thing. So everyone has one, a carbohydrate tipping point, and the question is, where is it? And again, many of my patients, it tends to be in the very low levels. And often our surgical patients get in the 60 to 70 gram range, they are struggling. So keep it down low and try to figure out your tipping point. All right, so we covered some real interesting topics there, big broad topics. The core of the eating plan, low carb diet simplified, and a carbohydrate tipping point. If you have further questions or you want more information, give us a yell here at the Center for Weight Loss Success. The, um, the corporate website is cfws.com. If you're just interested in some of the webinars and information I talk about each week, every week it's Losing Weight USA, which go to the website www.losingweightusa.com. Sign up there for the tips, recipes, as well as access to me every single week when I do this live webinar. All right. Thank you for listening, everyone. If you again have questions, let us know. We'll be happy to talk to you as well as tune in next time to the next podcast. Remember, it's your life. Make it a healthy one. Good night.